Is this the world's first electric ATC-70? Dude! I'm almost certain it is, and it's gonna be a scary ass thing, I'll tell you that. Oh my god! Hopefully we can combine the Rad Factory engineering, Honda's reliability, into something Gavin can't destroy. Oh Here, no! I'll plug it, plug it back in! Welcome to the Rad Factory, here we go again. So somehow we have to combine four different three-wheelers into one functioning electric ATC-70. We already built Gavin one electric trike, and he destroyed it immediately. So we gotta fix this one first. That'll support a fat hinder right there, huh? We may not get it right the first time, but we will get it right. It's gonna be pretty rad. We got a lot more structure. It's gonna be able to hold the heavy on the back if I want to. At least that's what he told me. We'll yeah, test that out this weekend. <laughs> Perfect, let's tear it apart and destroy it. This is something I don't want to do, fellas, but we have to. It's for educational and research purposes. We're going to cut out some of this and just bolt the motor directly to the skid plate. These are super rare, right? We're, we're about to destroy. Rare, they're, exactly, they're very rare, but we got to do it. I think we just steal this sprocket, and if we're really lucky, it'll be the same size diameter as our motor. So we're about to destroy another 70 Easy. to make chill, this one chill, work? Chill, 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 It's our specialty to take a running vehicle and turn it into a non-running one. Oh my goodness, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> our next step is finding a way to mount that onto there. Oh my goodness, man. Doable, but difficult. It's only difficult because precision is needed, and that's not really any of the three people's ears. <laughs> Expertise. <laughs> no, not not really. The little sprocket fits on our motor, but the big sprocket is what we need to run the original Honda chain. So in theory, if I can weld little sprocket to big sprocket right there, we should be good to go. Your idea worked. We got the sprockets welded together. Yeah. Are we in your All right. way? All right, let's see if it fits the chain. Oh, baby. This is gonna be something else, like the Rad Factory. These builds are getting out of hand, man. They're becoming crazier and better by each build. Every week, I'm like, there's nothing crazier that we could do. And then we end up doing something. And that is what we are gonna be cutting out. This is gonna suck, Dylan. There's only a few of these left in the world and we're just gonna chop this one up. Close your eyes, Dylan. It has to happen. I can throw up right now. Only one more cut. Stop! And then we're just gonna weld a bunch of stuff. Too. Stop it! Oh my goodness, man! I can't wait till you bring us to Trike Fest okay. and get into a fist fight. Someone's gonna shoot me, probably. <laughs> and that'll mount just like that. Let's do it. Let's That's go. basically factory, dude. It, it is factory. It's a rad factory. So this strap is exactly the right size. Bob's your uncle. I've been getting the electric Vespa dialed in, so we'll have something to race against the 70. Quiet on the set. That's gnarly, dude. It's, they definitely did it on purpose, right? Either that or these ancient tires somehow got water. I think we're pretty much there. I think I just need to weld this to the frame. So this is just a standard 2000 watt Vever motor from Amazon with the controller that it came with, but it is a 72 volt custom made battery. So this thing will rip. First test coming right about now. Oh! We have freaking power! <laughs> All right, let's see what she actually looks like. Oh, oh my God, that's so fast. Do you guys? Oh my gosh! What did we actually just do? <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun! This is a horrible idea. Let's get this assembled into the skate park as fast as possible. Packaging all this electric stuff, the battery is massive, the controller's pretty big. This is the challenge. All right, we got the controller kind of mocked up under the gas tank. Ooh, a nice little bracket. Solidly like zip tied. <laughs> What are we stashing in this? Dude, don't, don't tell the internet. We're like moments away from actually driving this, is that right? Yeah, no, for sure. Okay. This is looking so good. Ready? Yep. Oh yep. my God. We're there. I just noticed something. That it's way too clean. It's one so f***ing clean, but we're gonna have to make foot pegs. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> How did it take us all day to notice that we don't have foot pegs? What are they normally? Right to the bottom of the motor. We are gonna need that. We were so close to being able to drive it, but it is more moments away. More than moments. 
<laughs> this is going to take some engineering. Mika, quiet on the set. What do you think of the three of them? So you cut this earlier, and now you have to weld it back on again to Barbo pegs. Pretty classic. And then I'm going to use something to kind of triangulate as best as we can out to there. Because if we've learned anything, it's that Gab can snap a three-wheeler in half. We're going to be getting some full sends on it, so we're going to make it as sturdy as possible. You're really afraid of that welder, huh? I'm such a baby, huh? <laughs> He's that way with the angle grinder too. So what if we just take a little scrap piece, stick it like that, and then we'll put some of that square tubing between there and there. Call it good. I like it. Call it dialed. And I think it's time to test it. Let's do it, baby. She looks dialed. Probably two or three hours after we thought we were done, but now we are finally ready. All right, we're still not quite there yet. Gavin needs uh, another wheelie bar. For a grab bar, just so that if we come back, we're not just gonna go straight to our ass. Those are gonna catch before the plastic. If one of you says that there's anything else that needs to happen to this, I'm punching some dicks. No, it's ready, let's do it. Oh baby, that's a bad little mishmish. If I've ever seen a bad little mishmish. Gavin sure knows about little mishmishes. <laughs> Holy snipers, fellas! I guess there's only one thing left to do, fellas. Take it easy. Oh, no, we're Don't taking it easy. We're taking it easy. <laughs> we did something good! Dude, nice work. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa! This is amazing, fellas! It feels like I'm right at home. It's wild, dude. Oh my goodness. Should we hit the skate? Should we hit the skateboard? Oh, it's ready for some jumps. There we go. Now it's complete. Now it's freaking rad, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I don't give a piss about nothing but the tide. Dude, I thought that was you. <laughs> <laughs> Close, man. His name's also it's Gavin. Weird. Dude, and that's what confused me. I was like, Gavin? He's like, yeah. And I was like, you don't know me? He's like, no. Nah. I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you changed, motherfucker. <laughs> all right, I guess it's that time. We spent the whole day building it. And now we're at the skate park ready to do some damage. We're, we're fully locked and loaded. Let's hit this stuff. Let's break something. Let's go, baby. Oh no! Is that bad? Uh, yeah, that's never happened <laughs> ever, dude. Oh uh, no! I'll plug it, plug it back in. Yeah, she's warm. Better cool down. Yeah. This thing did look good though, dude. You were comfy on that thing. So this one we can't even blame on the Rad Factory. This is just China Electric Motors. Can't handle a couple Rad Gavins and a Rad Dylan all <laughs> hanging out. So something bad happened. I smelled something funny, kinda. You ready? Please spin. Oh! Uh, Burned it out. Back into the Rad Factory, we gotta do some re-engineering. She was fun, fellas, I'll tell you that right now. Oh my gosh. No, it's gonna make me throw up, dude. We electric? just broke it, yes. What the fuck did you do What the that? hell, I know we screwed up. What do you think about that, brother? What are you doing making me jealous right now? This is why you don't go electric, fellas. Right there, right there. Right there. After how many years? Stock, babe. How many years? Like 30, 40 years. 35? Just the same age that I like my woman, just running perfect. Purring like a kitten, baby. Give me some. What kind uh, of kitten? Would you say like a cougar? <laughs> like exactly <laughs> like a cougar. That <laughs> cannot be safe. You guys. <laughs> so big on that thing, dude. Yeah. Layla's going to ask how her sweet pea got broken. And <laughs> I want her to know which calf broke it. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> what a machine. What a machine. All right, we got a new motor in there, had to replace the controller as well. Gav, you remembered to charge the battery, right? You charged it, I thought. You didn't charge it? This is definitely your responsibility. This is your toy. Gavin, Gavin! 
As usual, I gotta come up with some creative solution. <laughs> the Rad Factory has a solution for everything. Hey, you know what the backup is? Oh, it's not a Honda, is it? Uh, no! All right, we're saving the planet. No more gas being used. Let's go hit the BMX park. One sec, one sec. No. We are geniuses. I think we got a fully charged battery now. Let's dump the trailer and out you get to some riding. Dude, the pump truck is just sick. Just, ah. That is just ready to rip, fellas. The ride factory, they always surprise us. <laughs> Ripper, baby, let's go, Dale. I know better than to try and send a full ass jump on my wife's scooter. We're at the jump park. I don't know what else I'm supposed to do, but jump it. I think- you break I, something, or you're gonna break yourself. Jumpy boys gotta jump. <laughs> Holy smokes, dude! That was nuts! Jumping in this position <laughs> is not safe. <laughs> it's not safe. Let's go to the concrete. All right, let's go hit the concrete. I like that idea. Dude. Full send Dylan right there. We might have to change his name from Miata guy Dylan to full send Dylan. Holy shit. You guys want to know what a mish mish is, fellas? This is a mish mish! <laughs> New motor just doesn't have the juice. Not quite there. She's still having fun though. What do you think just happened? Oh, it broke? Get it out burned of town. No. It smells hot. Looks like we're gonna have to get back into the Rad Factory and figure this thing out. It's the motor that keeps letting us down. It's none of our engineering. We just need a stronger, more powerful motor. It's a bad mamma jamma though, and we're not stopping until it's figured out. It's not the end of the electric three-wheeler, it's only the beginning. Thank you guys for watching, we'll see you next time. Gas powered. Oh. Hey, he's still riding. I'm not. Damn it! <laughs>